All right, so this is the bag right here. I have kind of a few things around the bag and on, you know, on the outside of it. So I'm going to show you those things first, and then we'll get uh, into the inside and show you what's in there. So I guess starting, where should we start here? I guess let's start closer to the camera here. This is a kind of a med kit, medical kit that I've put together. Uh, just I have a list of everything that's in here. So we'll probably go like everything that's kind of like all the bags will go into what's actually in those a little later in the video but here's a medical kit got a, a tourniquet and some medical scissors as well and i have another tourniquet on the backpack i'll show you guys in a few uh, on this or on the bottom here we have a tarp this kind of just well it was kind of a round cloth or so for the tent but i have something else for that so i know a tarp will have many uses in a survival or just camping setting. So I decided to keep it on here. Now, I kind of have this belt that I just attached to the uh, straps here. So it's it, this backpack didn't come with the type of strap that goes around your waist. So it's nice to be able to have something like that with this uh, belt. And in here, it's just a, another bag that I have for extra storage and uh expandable and collapsible water bottle i don't know if i'll be keeping this on but i mean it's cool you know just to have something that's expandable and uh just to carry water and right now i don't really have any water storage things on this backpack except for that i have several i have a couple camelback bladders but I don't know if they'll fit in this backpack with what all I have inside of it. But I'll test that and see what I can do. I also have uh, zip ties here. Just some big zip ties. Never know. I mean, these might come in handy. Um, I'll try and open this pouch right here. So inside of here, I actually have MRE stuff. I mean, these are just the bags that the MREs came in. But... There's a whole bunch of things like, you know, you got some uh, tortillas. There we go, tortillas. And then we have, I think, six or seven of these MRE pouches. I'm not really gonna pull all of them out, but these are like the actual main courses, except for stuff like this. Got a couple of these, like this is a cheese spread, if you can see that. Yeah, this cheese spread, just some random stuff that come out of MREs that I've had before. Uh, so, several main meal pouches, I guess, from MREs that I've kind of just saved up. Never really ate them, so saved them up for something kind of like this. I guess, the, I mean, they're pretty flat, so it's nice to have them in the backpack because they're pretty flat. So they don't take up too much room. I mean, there's a lot of things in here, so I'm just kind of trying to stuff all of it back. But uh, that's pretty much what's in this outer pack here. Now, we have the next layer, which is kind of my tools, I guess, kind of thing. Uh, in here is mostly just spoons. Like, a whole lot of spoons and forks and just eating utensils, and of course, MRE heaters. You can do some pretty fun things with those. And uh, so that's pretty much what's in here, is just eating utensils. If I can get that close, there we go. Uh, in here is kind of, some of you guys in the military, you know MREs come with a whole bunch of things like moist, moist towelettes and little paper towels and uh, paper, I guess, wrap to keep them together. So that's what's in this pocket. And of course, more, more eating utensils. I guess I'm packing for more than just myself here. Stuck that back in there. Now we get to the actual pack here, or the pouch here. So this is kind of a, uh, hand crank radio. It also has a flashlight, a, a siren, and yeah, it's just 
crank it up. So it's kind of a something you don't have to worry about charging. So it's nice to have. If all of my other lights die on me, I still at least have this that I can charge myself. These are just some tent pegs that I don't actually use because I have better ones on the sides of the backpack that I'll show you guys. Got a razor knife or a utility knife. So that's pretty cool. I like the, has a button on it, just flips out and locks. Let's see, that's pretty cool. Mag light flashlight, just a simple, I think this is like 20 bucks. Just twist it and it comes on. Definitely not the best flashlight I have, but that's why it's in here instead of, you know, me carrying it. Put that back like so. Uh, life straw, if you guys can see that. Uh, it's just a filter. You can drink directly out of a stream with this, apparently. I haven't actually tried it, but I'll probably get a video of that next time I go out camping or just exploring. Uh, jet lighter, pretty simple. Lessons on fire, pen, pencils, that kind of thing. It's always useful to have that kind of stuff to just be able to write things down. Uh, let's see, there's quite, quite a bit of stuff in here, so I'm trying to go through it all. Just some packs of earplugs, never know when those will come in handy. Uh, thick paracord, always gotta have some paracord, that always comes in handy. A folding saw, that's pretty, pretty useful. It's actually been for me pretty nice to have. Definitely cut down some things with it. I mean, you can see the kind of use on the blade there. But it's pretty nice, it's a folding saw. I'm cheap, I think it's a Ozark Trail. I got it for like 10 or so bucks at Walmart. I mean, this is just a kind of a waterproof pack that you can put things in. Right now I have a charger for my flashlight. I'll get to that. Well, actually, that probably won't be in this video because that's more of an EDC type thing. But I have the charger in there. My, uh, man, I guess survival knife, the Gerber, Gerber strong arm. I've had this knife for quite a while and this knife actually has an interesting story to it. I, uh, you guys might hear about that one day. But uh, yeah, it's a great knife. I like it quite a bit. Uh, the main thing I like about the knife is actually the sheath. It's so, uh, what's the word? You can, well, you can use the sheath in so many different ways. You can molly it. You can have it as a, like a belt strap. And I kind of just made this little strap. So I use it through my belt and then uh, just strap this to my leg. And there we go. But there's a bunch of different ways that you can use the sheath. And that's why I like it so much. It's pretty great actually have this it's a sharpening stone from a spider coat sharp maker that i use i use this to keep all my knives i mean they can literally shave hair off my arm if you notice actually like see how there's hair here and there's not hair here it's because I, that's kind of how i test my knives is by shaving hair if it can shave hair it's sharp enough for me i don't really need it to be too much sharper than that but this is one of the rods that comes with the sharp maker the fine stone so once you get them sharp that's how you keep them sharp and just maintain your edges shove that back down in there I think, oh wait no I actually do have something in here it's just a notebook simple notebook well I say simple it's waterproof so that's pretty nice it's got some things in here I you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see any of that but it's basically stuff like measurement conversions English measurements Map scales, this is actually pretty useful information in here. And uh, you can see, I wrote down all my flashlight run times. So that way I don't forget that kind of stuff. I actually don't have this flashlight on that list. So I might definitely need to add that in here. I'll just have some pencil lead. This is 0.7 and this is 0.5. Uh, this mechanical pencil in here is actually 0.5, so I don't really need the 0.7, but I just have it in there just in case. So that pretty much does it for this pack, or this pouch. I keep saying pack for some reason. We'll close that up. And we can 
get to the actual main section of this backpack. This is where all the kind of bigger stuff is. Turn it out of the way. So this is the main compartment of the backpack. This is a rain suit. I actually just bought this today to replace the one that I had because it was Actually, I can show you guys. So this is the old rain suit that I had by, uh, I guess there you go, Frog Togs. It's it's all right. The material, I mean, I, I used it before when it was raining and the material is fine. However, the seams in this are pretty terrible. I went to squat down once and pretty much the entire inner seam of the pants ripped out and I had to spend, I'm not a good sewer, so it took me about, you know, an hour and a half or so to sew that entire, probably like one and a half to two feet back together. So that was annoying. Plus this, this suit doesn't have any pockets on it whatsoever. So that's kind of annoying. You can't carry anything with you unless you have some sort of external pack or something, you know, backpack of course, but you can't carry any like smaller things like a phone. If you just want to like take your phone out somewhere, with this on, you can't do that. But with this, they actually have pockets on the uh, jacket, kind of like on your sides or on your uh, on your front. So that's pretty nice. You can, you know, actually carry something, some smaller things on you. I mean, uh, I mean, it fits just like it's just like it should in its in a pouch. Trying to snap that back together. There you go, item number one. Of course, I'm gonna have some gloves, pretty uh, pretty nice. These are kind of touch screen right here with the uh, knuckles that let you use your touch screen. If these get wet, actually, you can use the fingertips, so that's kind of cool. Just like dip it in water and you can use the touch screen with these. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we'll go with these. Next, right here, we actually have a mini cooker and a bottle of butane and propane. So it's pretty cool. You fold out the uh, little base and you can put things on it. Kind of like the next item that I have on this list, or in the pack, I guess, which is just a cook set, little small little cook set. It's pretty nice. You got a pot, you got a plate, a pan, and a cup. So, I mean, that'll rest perfectly on there. And there you go, you have your cooking solutions. And with the MREs, you can you know put them in here and heat them up, and there you go. You got, uh, you got your meals. Let's see, let's put this all back together. I actually had a older pair that you had to screw together, but this is a lot more convenient. You can just pop that on and off, and there you go. Bug spray, of course. There we go. Deep Woods Sportsman. I don't know about any of that, but you know, it's always nice to have bug spray for obvious reasons. Bugs are very annoying to deal with. And uh, the last item, well, the, I guess the main item, the biggest item is this tent. It's actually, you see it says it's a kid's tent. I'm five foot eight and I can sleep in this, I can sleep in this comfortably. I, if I uh, lay in it, my head and feet would touch, but not anything too crazy. And of course, if you sleep diagonal, or if I sleep diagonally, that's fine. Or if I kind of sleep in more of an L shape, that's fine too, I fit in there, no problem. I taken this out, uh, taken this tent out once before, and it, I mean, it held up fine. Of course, like most, or any other tent, you're gonna have your condensation if you're not, uh, I guess mitigating that properly. So I'm gonna have to figure out the best way for that. Cause I mean, condensation inside the tent is annoying, but I think I have a solution for that. I'll try out next time I go camping. So there's the tent, the big item. Now in these pockets here, you can see there's, I have some stuff in there. And here, just got some Velcro and uh, Velcro and super glue. Always come in handy. Oh, it actually has, as well as that. That was the uh, 
little cooking set. Sorry for that. And uh, duct tape and electrical tape. Always useful. And obviously I have a Ziploc bag as well. Let's put that all back in there. I always like to keep my super glue upside down so that way it's closer to the tip, I guess, whenever you need to use it. And that's that. Next thing up is this pocket. I have a sewing kit. Nice catch there. This is what I use to uh, sew my pants back together in the rain suit when they ripped. But, I mean, I've added a few things. I've added just a set of needles, a whole ton of them. So, don't have to worry about losing them or breaking them because I got a ton. It came with a little bit of thread, you know, some uh, kind of whitish tan and uh, more tannish green and then black. And I've also added these curved needles and uh, some scissors. They kind of came in there. A little trashy, but I mean, hey, for like a $5 sewing kit, can't really expect too much, but this has definitely been helpful and handy so far, so I'm fine with that. Also, uh, just some extra odds and ends for sewing, buttons and safety pins and stuff like that. And I also have some glue sticks. I have a few in here, but I'm gonna pull out a couple. You heat these up with your lighter, I mean, there you go. You can glue stuff together, as well as with your super glue. So that was pretty much everything on the inside of the tent, or inside of the backpack, sorry. So let me get this backpack back together and I'll show you guys what's in these bags. Got the zippers all together. Let me throw this old rain suit out of here. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. I'll probably keep it in the Suburban just in case I'm with a friend or something and they want to, or they need a rain suit and don't have one. So before we get to these packs, I actually have a few more things on the outside of the backpack. I want to show you guys, they're on the straps. I have a thermometer here. I have a spare multi-tool. That's actually the one that I used to carry daily, but now I have a new one. Pretty excited about that. Uh, another tourniquet in an easier to reach position. This is, I guess, the primary one. Just pull this strap and it'll fall. So that's nice to have. Flashlight, another flashlight. This one's a Olight i3 EOS. It's got, wrong way, 90 lumens for 45 minutes of runtime. It's just a nice little thing to have if you need it, and then you get it. And uh, a carabiner. So now we can get to the actual side packs here. And I can show you what's in those. So before we get to the actual pack here, I have here are the tent stakes that I have. The other two on the other side right here. And they just weave through the molly of the backpack that the uh, side pack is attached to. So let's get into the side pack. You just unzip it, easy enough. And it's pretty much fire and light of sorts because right here we have uh chem lights it's upside down chem lights i have like four or five in there some uh insta fire kind of just pour it out light it on fire and it'll burn for about five to seven minutes well an eighth of a cup of it will burn for about five to seven minutes uh, let's see little cotton soaked in some flammable liquid. Drop my, uh, kind of the flint and striker, I guess is the better way to say it. Let's see if I can close that. There we go. We got some of these. These, uh, I don't remember exactly what they're called. I threw away the actual pack that they came in, but they're basically little cubes of some substance. You burn a full cube, it can burn for about 10 minutes on its own, but you can also cut these into like little chunks. And if you cut it into eight chunks, each of those chunks can burn for about two to three minutes. So that's pretty nice. Again, just more fire starting stuff. I actually have gum wrapper, gum wrappers in here. Uh, these are actually, they have a, I don't know if you guys know about the whole uh, battery trick where you take you have to take these and cut them really thin in the middle, kind of make a notch 
on both sides to where it's really thin in the middle. And then if you stick that on a battery, that middle point will actually catch fire. It's pretty cool. I've, it's kind of hard to do. I've done it a couple times, but I'll see if I can actually get a video of how that works. Cause it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful as well. And uh, I mean, that's it for what's in this pack. So let's get on to the medic pack and kind of show you what's in there. So here's the medical pouch. I myself am not a medical professional, so I don't know if this has everything that I could possibly need for any situation. Well, actually, I know it doesn't have a couple things, but I do think it's pretty, you know, decently complete. It has a lot of things in it, in it that, you know, are very useful. So we're going to get into that and uh, kind of show you what's in here. Now, I do have everything that's in here wrapped in a plastic or in a Ziploc bags. So to kind of keep them waterproof for obvious reasons. So right here, you got some medical tape and just a wrap. Like it kind of, it's a, it clings to itself and it's really stretchy. So it's really good for just wrapping it. Now on the outside here, or I guess inside, but outside everything else, I have this afterbite cream. It's pretty useful for uh, just mosquito bites, like poison ivy, anything that like itches or kind of stings a little bit. You can rub this on it and it actually helps quite a bit because I used it. On a mosquito bite that I had, and it pretty much instantly made the itching feeling go away. So that's pretty nice. Uh, actually, let's see if I can grab this. I actually have a list here of everything that's in the uh, pack. So let me open this up and show you what it says. So here's that list. Uh, it's actually another, the other side as well. But it just goes over everything that I have in the, in the actual, in the actual pack here. And just says, you know, what everything is. So Q-tips, popsicle sticks, an actual manual on just kind of how to use some of this stuff. Uh, cold pack, towelettes, alcohol prep pads, antibiotic ointment packs, uh, just kind of a whole bunch of things. I mean, this will cover pretty much anything from a small to medium to large cut. Uh, I have, I don't know if I can, burn gel packs. So, you know, burns, cuts, scrapes. So actually have on the other side some other stuff. I mean, that's pretty much everything that's in. So of course, you saw the tourniquets. I have one here, one here. Both, uh, you know, quick access, just kind of pull that, uh, snap that, and they come off ready to use. So that's everything in the pack. I mean, it's done me some good so far, you know, with the one camping trip that I've been on, but I'll definitely be taking this out on hikes, some more camping trips, just testing it out, seeing if it, or seeing how well it holds up. It seems pretty sturdy and pretty strong, and it's pretty comfortable to wear. It weighs about, I want to say about 25 pounds with everything fully loaded like it is. So it's not very light, or it's not very heavy. It's easy to walk around in for extended periods of time. And again, it is pretty comfortable, especially with this belt. The belt helps a lot, kind of keeping it close to you. And if you, you know, jump or whatever, it doesn't move too much because of the belt strap and, you know, the uh, shoulder straps. Also, any backpack that has a chest strap is a win. I wouldn't even bother with a backpack that doesn't have a chest strap. And uh, if you have a, you know, sturdy, this is kind of a police military style duty belt. So if you if your backpack doesn't have an actual built-in waist belt, you can kind of just do this like I have kind of through the uh, straps here to get a, get around that. But I would definitely recommend one that has built-in waist strap because it's just way more comfortable to have the strap than to not. But this has pretty much been the backpack. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you... Uh, managed to learn something from this and I'll definitely be sharing how this plays out as I you know, go along and camp and hike and, uh, that's about it for the video today guys hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time bye